hi everyone uh, in this video i'm going to talk about how you can uh, measure or at least be notified when an unexpected uh, behavior is happening on uh, your uh, website so um for this uh, what you need of course is uh, to explain to uh, matomo what you consider as an unexpected behavior so of course you can uh, track and measure uh, javascript errors that tracking javascript error um, is not enough sometimes so imagine that you have a website on which you have uh, different buttons and you would like to measure if uh, some people are struggling with some buttons so to say clicking more than once on a given button and that's typically the kind of thing that by default you cannot measure with uh, custom alerts because custom alerts will be at let's say the overall level of all the events which have happened on uh, your website and not at the visitor level or let's say visit level so not for a single individual if he or she is struggling with and the idea of this tutorial is to explain you how you can uh, uh, create a custom alert just for this so it goes back to a former tutorial that i um, that I made, uh, the idea is to use a data layer variable in order to store within uh, uh, within the browser of uh, the user the fact that uh, he or she perform uh, this uh, given interaction. So what is going to happen over here is that we have a button and on this given button what I did is that I added, as you can see, an MTM push click button. So the idea is if this person is clicking on this given button, it's going to store within the data layer uh, the value button. So to say, uh, the browser will know that this given person clicked on the button. It's not going to send anything to Matomo yet. It's just going to hold within the data layer that this person clicked on this given button. And if this person click a second time on this button, imagine that he or she is struggling with this given button, then I'm going to fire um, a tag in order to say that this person struggled with this uh, given button. So in order to make this given um, tutorial happen, what I did is that I did an on-click, MTM push click button. So for this, I need to create a data layer variable within my tag manager where the uh, name will be click. And uh, I just added here um, uh, an ID within my button. So this part is not uh, compulsory. Okay, and of course, uh, you are not uh, obliged to add it to hard coded it you can use the tag major in order to add this mtm push uh, variable so uh, by the side of the data layer uh, by the side of the matomo tag major so what i did is i created a variable over here which is named click uh, which is a data layer variable which of course is uh, going to take the value uh, button and uh, the, the name is data layer click click okay so nothing crazy here then in addition to that what do I have is I have a trigger the trigger is the following one so it's uh, uh, the trigger is going to react if someone click on a button which has an ID which equal my test and which has as well a data layer variable uh, which equal to, to button so here I have all I want and then my tag is configured as this so it's named unexpected behavior and um, it's going to send an event with the name unexpected behavior unexpected behavior unexpected if someone click on the button and already clicked on it in the past and if this thing happened it means that within the data layer it will hold uh, the value uh, click button so uh, let's let's go for it Okay, so here I'm using the preview mode. As you can see, only the page view has been triggered. I'm going to click on the uh, button once. And at this step, as you can see, nothing happened. And the reason why nothing happened is that um, the condition for this tag to be fired is that the data layer need to be full filled with uh, the, the variable, which is not the case when the first click happened. Because when the first click happened, this is when uh, the data layer on the click will be filled in with, with the data but this data as it has not been yet pushed to the data layer is not making it react however if i click it on a second time on it then 
the data layer, sorry for that, I'm gonna click over here. Then the data layer is now filled in with the data and as a result, uh, the trigger has been um, executed. So uh, now how it looks like within a Matomo where I'm getting the unexpected behavior as you can see. And now I can easily create my custom alert based on this one. So this given event, as you can imagine, is gonna hardly ever be in pushed. Or at least when it's pushed, it's clearly the definition of an alert because this should really happen very uh, few times. So it's gonna happen just in really specific condition. And here I should have uh, changed this out. And it's uh, when it's greater than one because if one person at least struggles, it probably means that the issue is still there. And that's everything that I wanted to show you uh, for today. I hope you enjoyed this video.